Hi, welcome back to the St James YouTube channel. My name is Ruth and I'm the youth worker here and today we're going to be looking at something a little bit new. So let's just get on with it. I have not filmed in a minute. So like, this is a bit weird. I feel awkward. I feel like I've not set things up properly. Let's just see what happens. Fingers crossed for the best. So I've got a question for you. How many times in your life have you heard the Lord's Prayer? Probably a lot. If you think about it, you've probably heard it at least at least once a week, but maybe more than that. So let's do two times a week. So that's 52 times. I am 23. So let's do 52 times 23. 1196 times that I've heard the Lord's Prayer in my life. That is mental. That is a lot of times. Have you memorized it? Do you know the Lord's Prayer off by heart? I do, and I don't think I ever sat down to memorize it, but I just, you hear it so much at church, we say it at school as well, it just becomes a part of your brain. Um, we say it a lot. Have you ever thought about what you're actually saying? I know that sometimes I just like rattle it off because that's what you're meant to do. But then sometimes I'm like, wow, this is like super interesting. Like this is what we're saying when we say the Lord's Prayer. So let's talk a little bit about it. So the Lord's Prayer goes, oh, this is a test now. I don't have it in front of me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Hopefully that's familiar. If it's not, congratulations, you've just heard it for the first time in your life. And there's different versions. So different churches do different versions. Um, some people say trespasses. Some people say debtors. But we're going to focus on this version. And we're going to focus on the first line. So the first line goes, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So I don't know if you've ever thought about what that line means. And I know that I don't always know what hallowed means. So hallowed, first of all, makes you think of Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, so I did some research I took to Google and apparently I've got it. Oh no, I closed the page. Made holy. So every time we say Jesus or God, we are hallowing that name. We are saying that that name is holy. It's a place apart, that kind of thing. It is above everything else. So that is what hallowed be your name is. So if we say our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, there's kind of like two contrasting things there because you've got our Father and our Father is a really familiar term, right? We say Father, we don't say, we say Father a lot, but the idea of a dad and we talk about God being the Father a lot and that's very personal like that. It's very close to us. We, it's very familiar and cosy. Is cosy the right word? No, it's not. But that's like very familiar for us. That makes sense really easily. Hallowed be your name, however, kind of sets it apart. So it's like, yeah, God is this close to us, but also he's this far away from us because he's God. And that is a really dis big distinction that is really hard to get your head around. I struggle to get my head around that. That's deep, <laughs> deep stuff. Let's focus on the Our Father for a hot minute. So Our Father is the first thing that we say. It is the beginning of this whole prayer that everyone says and it links us together and it's the first thing in the prayer links us together as one because we say our father it's not your God or my God it's our God our father when you talk to your friends often you say my mum says this my dad says that and when you say that to your sister sometimes I say to my sister oh my mum said this earlier and it's like no no, no that's my mum as well like that's both of our mum and sometimes it gets a bit awkward or it feels awkward to say and that should be the same for us talking about God you know God is all of our God and that's linking us together in a huge way we're all brothers and sisters in Christ which is really cool so if you ever feel lonely or anything like that you have all these brothers and sisters around you because it's our father in heaven and that's I don't know, it feels really connected and really cool to be able to say that. What's my message today? What do I want to get across? Everyone truly belongs. And I think that's what this prayer starts off by telling us is that we all belong in God. It is our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And that is a really awesome thing to remember. Um, if 
you're struggling, half t it's half time at the moment, maybe you're struggling not seeing people, maybe you just feel really lonely when you're at home or lonely when you're at school or whatever, we are all together. And that is really reassuring to me and I hope that's something that's reassuring to you on this rainy Tuesday. It's Monday but it's going to be Tuesday when this gets posted and I'm assuming it's still going to be rainy then so that's great. Um, that's what I have for you today. Tune in next week where we'll look at the second line. Spoiler alert, you can go find out what that line is. Um, do I have any notices? It's same notices as every week, you know. Get in touch if you want to be one of the cell groups. They're really fun. Um, hot chocolate, things like that. So yeah, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye.